we have a brilliant plan. We're gonna make our conveyors go on the outside, huh? If we do it like this... Ta-da! It kinda works. It kinda looks cool as well. I actually like this quite a lot. Can we get this up here, please? Could we could actually combine these? That actually makes no sense. Really? I don't wanna do that, but we're gonna have them on the outside here. It's gonna look quite, quite cool. We're gonna fix this one as well. I don't wanna have this one here, but we have it as a window for the time being. That was kinda cool. It's a little bit, uh, scary. I'll be- I'll- I'll- I'll say it as much. And we also have a staircase over here. It's a very complicated staircase. I also gotta get, like, a wall on the outside. Because right now it's just way too easy to fall off. I wish we had, like, an elevator. Oh, you know what? We have bounce pads, don't we? Yeah, actually, we do have bounce pads. We could use bounce pads instead. That would make a lot more sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're definitely gonna do that. Alright, so how do we actually do this, though? We gotta get the- both of these to come up there. Problem is, it's not very easy to rotate them. And it's gonna prove to be a bit of an issue. I like, I like having them on the outside. I think it's gonna look quite, quite cool. Because, again, it's it's the second floor, man. It's a big, important thing. I want to have it be, like, look awesome. That's one of the most important parts of having a factory. Making it look amazing and awesome. And that might take us a little bit of work. Because I want to have them go on the outside of the building. So I managed to get this thing running the way I wanted to. Can I actually jump through this thing is what I want to know. I cannot. Can I jump onto it from here? Because if I can, I would really love to, just so I can walk on it. I don't think I can. A little bit unfortunate, but we can just go climb up. I have to, like, expand this a little bit. I kind of have to, like, move this. But I kind of like having the, uh, stickers being closed. It makes me feel a lot safer. You know, than, than just having, uh, it be on the, on the very edge. I don't know. Like, having it, I like having it closed. Might not be the worst idea. We're going to have to, like, get, get some... Did I make a mistake? I made a mistake? Yo, no. It's not high enough. Well... Actually, I don't mind this. I'll be per I don't actually mind this. I think this looks kind of cool in a way. So we'll we'll do this. Again, this you might be raging at me right now, but I, I think this is gonna look kind of cool. I have a plan in my head, and hopefully once we finish it, it's gonna look uh, even better. We gotta place foundations here, unfortunately, before we can continue. So let's uh, get a get some foundations here. Like this. And can I get, like, a ramp boy over here? Ramp. Like that. We have a ramp over here. It's a little bit of an extra section. And we can have... We don't need this thing over here. Again, I do want to have, like, walls in the outside, because this seems very... This is very, very unsafe. I don't want to have it like this at all. But, um... It's gonna make... I think it's gonna look quite, quite lovely once we have it done. It's gonna look quite cool. Alright. So what do we want to do over here? Well, we have things stored down there. What we really want to do is actually want to build a crafter boy. So we have uh, all these walkways. Should have actually maybe used the walkways instead of... Nah, I think it's fine. You know, I think it's okay. I like the staircase as well. We can, we can change things around as time goes on. I like having this section like that. Uh, the thing is, like, I, we, can, we can just clip the belts. I don't like it when belts clip, though. That kind of annoys me a bit. I'm trying to avoid that as much as I can. So we gotta go get a... Where is the production? Assembler. Oh, we gotta get it for motors manually first, huh? Well, that's gonna be a bit annoying. But we could just use a constructor, right? To begin with. That's all we really need. Constructor. I just wanna place this quickly. I'm not gonna activate. I just wanna see exactly what we can make here. We can make screws. We definitely wanna make screws for sure. We can actually make screws on the bottom floor instead. Because uh, it is one of the most basic parts. Same as everything else. So maybe... Maybe we wanna... I don't know. I don't really know, because we will... Uh, uh, we, okay, you know what? Let's just remove this over here for a bit. We will want to move all of these bad boys up here for sure. Let's just put these there for a sec. Make sure we have them like parallel-ish. Gonna adjust them later on as needed. Just wanna have them over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna like move... This one's, this one's gonna continue on... In this direction. We're trying to just clear it. Yeah, please don't do that. That seems very very mean. A little bit more like this. And this one's gonna go up here. And you're gonna make a turn at one point. You're gonna go a little bit more over here. Then you're gonna make a turn. And you're gonna make screws in a separate area. We can add a splitter here if we need to use these in some other place. I'm trying to like configure some kind of little, like weird bus. But um might not might not come out quite as well as I'm planning. Again, it's a lot more difficult, I feel, to, like, get a nice-looking factory when you're playing in first person than if you're playing Factorio in, for example, like, uh, a top-down view. 
think it's uh, it's a little bit tricky to do things like this, but that's perfectly fine. All right, let's get more foundations here as well. They're all placed properly, which is beautiful. So over here, we want to get one of those assembler boys. I mean, constructor boys. To turn these things into screws. So how do I actually align these things properly? Let's just stand on this thing right here. And we'll have to get some power as well, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Let me place it over here. We can. Beautiful. There we go. Power goes here. Uh, how do we get power up? How do we get power that goes up? Is what I ask. I do not know. I mean, we could just connect it to any of the other poles, really. We have plenty of them. We have a pole right there. That pole is already kind of overloaded, I, I have to say. I mean, it, it literally is full. We can use this one at the bottom. Um... I love the hotkeys, man. They're so good. Let's get a pole over there. Kind of want to just remove this line. Please. Oh, we can totally connect. That's actually so beautiful. We can connect that far away. Beautiful. Let's get another thing over here. We can adjust this later on. It's got to be like a better way of getting power to here, right? It's got to be a better way later on. Get power and let's get it of course we want to have a lot of poles nearby let's make sure we are like in a close location get this over here we're gonna be making screws right in this bad boy right here we're gonna be making screws my friend should be no problem uh gotta connect you those first there we go there we go beautiful so we're gonna be making screws here 15 per minute Use 15 rods per minute making nine screws per minute that's a lot of screws man that's a lot of things I can't complain about that. So we're going to need to get some rotors manually first. Let's go actually do exactly that. We have so many resources here. I wish there was like a crouch button. Maybe there is. I don't really... Oh god, they don't want to scan things. Let's go to our staircase. I really got to get like a jetpack or something to make my life a lot easier. Because right now I'm, uh, it's a little bit awkward. If you had a jetpack, if we didn't have to worry about stairs and whatnot, our life would be a lot easier. But oh well. Let's just quickly check this. Uh, what do we need for the assembler? We need a rotor. And also need more cables. So we'll get it. We'll get this. Should be easy. You gotta get a rotor. It's just the rods and the screws. So that's actually very easy. Oh, it's rods and screws. Well, that could prove to be a problem, actually. Because I thought we need plates. Interesting. Uh, I'm not very happy about that. I uh, hope we have, like, a better way of making things. Rotors. We're gonna have 15 rotors easily. How many do we actually need for the, for the send-off? We could just, like, do it right now, you know? I think we need a lot of them, though. I could just, like, make everything manually. I do want to automate these things sooner or later, but i also kind of super curious about this. We need only... Wait, it's 50. It's a lot. 50, 75 and 50. Can we actually add this to our to-do list somehow? I don't think we can. That's kind of a shame. So, it's 75 plates and 25 rods. We're going to need a lot of screws for everything. Thankfully, the screws are... Uh, they come and go as we please. So let's make, if we want to make uh, the advanced parts, we need one for the rotors, one for the plates, right? These are both advanced parts. One for the rotors, one for the pl plates. A total of eight of them. And we have enough plates here. So we need a total of eight of these rotor boys. Could, of course, make more. doesn't hurt. I could actually make 12 just in case. Let's make, let's make all we can, you know? Let's make all of them that we can make right now. Beautiful. That's a lot of rotors. Awesome. Module frame. I don't know what this is used for. Probably used in something. Uh, that's for sure. But uh, right now, I have no idea. All right. So what we gotta do is we gotta go... Let's grab some of some of the... We have a lot of rods. I we might need more plates. Let's get, get these plates over here. We always need plates, you know? Plates are very useful. Let's go up here. Might have... Might have actually should have grabbed the... Uh, some more concrete. And yeah, it's gonna be very annoying. I should probably get... Invest in jump pads. If I have jump pads, I can probably just jump over here quite easily. We're gonna be making screws over here. Are we actually full? You are actually super full. That's actually fine. We're gonna be making screws. And we're gonna be getting screws into a storage unit, as we always do. I'm gonna get a storage unit right around here. And let's get more foundations as well. It's getting kind of complicated here. Was going to the second floor a mistake? I think it was a great idea. I think it, it took a little bit of work to get it all running. But now that we have the operational, I think it's it's just marvelous and beautiful. All right, let's get this. Doesn't really matter how, how nice it is or or not nice. Just wanna get these things connected properly. So we're gonna be storing all these screws 
That's a lot of screws, man. I like that. I'm going to be storing all of those. And we can now just combine these things to make uh, everything else. Okay, so I set this up. We have three lanes, one with plates, one with uh, rods, one with screws. And uh, they're not perfectly aligned just because it's kind of hard to do that since like everything just like wants to snap together. Like if I want to connect this over here, I just I just can't like place it easily because they all just want to snap together as soon as they're close. Like I want to have this one to be adjacent, but I couldn't do that without it actually snapping to the thing. So it's uh, a little bit of an issue, if you will. I can't have more parallel, otherwise it doesn't work. So again, we gotta make... Uh, Several things. We need to have two assembler boys, right? We have two assemblers. I think both of them require screws or rods. I think both of them require rods. Let's take a look over here. Wanna get a let's see, do, how much room do we have? We have a lot of room here, which is which is great. Wanna get a pr production bad boy over here? Where is that? Po not power production. It's the first tab, you dummy. Assembler. Wanna get two assemblers out? We have enough, but we don't have enough materials for two of them, because I forgot to get the wires, that's okay. It's okay, it's fine. How big are these things? Very. Very, very big. They are immense. Okay. Something to keep in mind. These things are huge. That's, that's fine. It's no big deal. How much room do we have here? We have not that much room. So we'll get, like, one over here. Man, these are, things are really big, man. These factories, they're, they're just massive. And, ooh, it looks like a teleporter thing. That's kind of cool. So, wanna make... You need a... Uh, both of them need screws. Okay, screws are... Should, screws should be in the middle, is the thing. They are not. They are not in the middle. We could make them in the middle. We could get the screws to be in the middle quite easily, actually. And I'm gonna do exactly that. Because I wanna get screws mixed up. Let's remove all of these. It's gonna give us a lot of stuff in the inventory, which is fine. I'm gonna do it like this. Screws are gonna be in the middle. We're gonna achieve that hopefully quite easily. Like this. We're gonna go over here. Problem is you can't place them at the edges of these things, which is very annoying. Then go over here. Then go over... Again, they, 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 keep try they keep trying to connect, which is not what I want. I don't want you to connect at all. Please do not connect, my friends. Please do not. Okay, like that. That's what I want. That's what I want. So I want to actually have this to go inside here. Leave room for splitting it later. That's beautiful. I want to get another splitter for the screws. We're getting a lot of splitters here. I think I might not have enough resources right now for the splitter. Uh, yeah, I need more wires. Let's just jump down there. Like, can we go over here? We can, oh, God, man, I really wish we could just like go to this gap in here. Because we have to go use the stairs now, which is kind of annoying. It's right. I think, I think we're making good progress here. I'm actually loving this factory so much right now. So we're getting another assembler here. How can we align it that so that it it makes a lot of sense? Like this is this too crowded? Like I don't know where to store these things right now. I kind of like again, we need so much room. Oh, this thing gonna work? It's going the wrong way as well, which is a big mistake on my part. You definitely don't want to that. You don't want to do that. Uh, let's just make sure. Can we like connect this thing over here directly? We can. All right, let's do exactly that. Let's do one connection over here as well. I gotta make it go up. It's 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 crucial that it goes up. Let's get this thing in here as well. They gotta work like that. So we have to like remove these things a bit. That's fine. Beautiful. We don't need this snapper boy at all. That's obsolete. We have this thing as well. Assembler. Awesome. So in this assembler, we're gonna be making rotors, right? Yeah, should be making rotors. I don't know how long it's gonna take to make rotors. We need a lot of power for that, though. And that might be a problem. We'll see, though. This one it has uh, plates. Iron plates, iron plates, and screws. Hopefully, we can keep up with the demand. We might not be able to. I might have to, like, re readjust some of these things. But uh, we'll, we'll see soon enough. So, we have that pillar over there. I kind of want to get another pillar right around here. Power pole right here, if we can. Thank you very much. And let's connect this bad boy to that thing. Let's connect these two to, like, this thing over here. Alright, so they should all start working now. How long is it going to take for them to do things? I have no idea. Do we have a place to store these? We don't have a place to store these right now. We should get a storage for them, for sure. Yeah, I agree. That is not wrong. Problem is, like, we are kind of out of space here, huh? I mean, we have more room, actually. We have more room for foundations. Let's go make more foundations, then. We have the storages for these now. Not perfect storage. We can adjust them later on. It's probably fine. I just want to have some place to store them. So production here is at 31%. Why is that the case? 
It's because you take too long to get screws, that's fine. What about here? Your production is at 40% because it takes you too long to get the flipping screws. So, you, like, having only one screw maker for both of these is not enough. Not enough at all. That's a little bit disappointing. So, what we would actually need is we need to... Yeah, these are, like, blocked off completely while we're waiting for more screws. What we'd actually need is two screw makers. Get a splitter here, get another screw maker over here and just pump them separately into the storage and then have each one of them have their own line. Yeah, we have to have... Like, um, we gotta get another screw maker here. There's no other way around it, I think. That's a uh, sad reality. I don't think we have enough for any more foundation. We have to like jump down there and get, yeah, more concrete. That's okay. That's fine. I could remove some of the existing ones, actually get some concrete back instead. Let's do that. We don't need those right now. Can uh, just just recycle, you know. I think that that's something that's amazing about this game. Things don't have a range usually, so you can just like you can just do whatever I want. I want to place a foundation. Like I can place it over there. No one's gonna stop me because it's it's even though it's so so far away. I still have the power to do it. All right, but we're gonna need more power soon uh, as well, which is gonna be very annoying. But uh, let's just get a constructor here. A little bit can't afford. Okay, we are out of the plate boys. Uh, the good thing is we have plate boys available, like to just harvest them over here. Now, are they not? They're not in here. It's a little bit crowded. Oh, I don't tell me I can't go here. Man, I really want that. There's gotta be a jetpack, right? There was a jetpack in the trailer. There's gotta be an actual jetpack. Once I get the jetpack, I'm gonna be so flipping unstoppable. We only have four of these. Yeah, we really don't have enough screws. We're gonna have probably gonna have to have, have like three of these, honestly. One does does not seem enough, and uh, like you're making things full, yeah, non-stop. It's blocked off here as well because you just can't keep up. Uh, and there's like one more thing we kind of wanna rearrange. We're gonna kind of rotate this if we can. There we go. So I made it uh, split into a different direction. It goes like this. How cool is this thing, huh? It's amazing. I love it. All right, let's get these screws over here as well. We need some power, of course. We'll get there in a sec. So, what I actually kind of want to do is that we don't need to split here anymore. Because we're not going to be using this. We can just ditch this splitter entirely. Get these uh, poles and, and belts out of the way. Because we don't need them anymore, really. Connect this thing to this. Is that going to work? It is going to work beautifully. We'll also make it a little bit less awkward. But that's, that can come later on. And we got to get more screws in this thing. So, how we're going to do that is we're going to get this bad boy gonna go all the way around here it's gonna take a bit of effort to drag them all the way there but it's fine we can have them parallel again i'm not making the be most beautiful factory in the world right now as it's probably obvious we see concrete well you know what they say reduce reuse recycle there we go so now we have this connected as well and let's get a pole here because again i want to have a lot of poles Beautiful, and let's get this over here. And that should start working like full steam now. Which means this one's gonna get more and more things. Now, still missing screws is the thing. It's using 120 screws per minute. How much is this thing making? Is it 120 as well? It's 90. So it will not be able to keep up. What we can do, we can just take a batch of screws and just like preload them to extend the efficiency of our thing a little bit. Do the same thing over here, because again, they require a little bit of more extra push. But now we're making both rotors and the advanced plates, which is beautiful. And we're still keeping things left and right. I think I'm going to be fairly happy with this. Need a lot of these bad boys. We've got to stack up on them for the future. We could make some things manually, of course. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, it, it's good, you know? The problem is we're going to be using up all our screws here, right? 427, 428... I kind of, kind of just want to take these and make things, some things myself before the best. Yeah, I'm taking a long time to get things. And I, I will have to, like, get... Uh, we finish this entire building. This building is, like, very unfinished, as you can probably tell. It's not even close to being done yet. Hopefully one day, though. Uh, can we, like, get... How much fall damage do we take if we do this? Uh, none! Oh, that's beautiful. So we can actually just jump down there whenever we want to, as long as we're jumping to the right place. It looks kind of cool, you know? Of course, it's not done yet. It's still missing a lot of walls. We gotta get more concrete for that. Might take us a bit. But before we do anything else, I just wanna quickly check my uh, batteries here. Because I kind of feel we might be getting... Yeah. Kind of low. Not super low, but relatively low. And I kind of wanna refuel things as soon as I get the chance. 
But yeah, I think we can easily launch this next video, no problem. We just gotta like make a few of these manually, and we can load up with the other ones we have. We need 50 and 70, right? I think it's 70 plates and 50 rotors. That's not that much. We have them all automated now. We just have to wait, or we can just like craft some manually, which is uh, also a possibility. I think we're gonna just craft some manually and uh, get that thing done at the beginning of the next video. But yeah, I'm gonna actually just end this one here. It was a great episode. We did a lot of cool things. I'm super happy with the way things are going, and I'm very proud of our little factory here. But yeah, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hunter Games. Now we'll see you next time.